Welcome to another vlog. I am so excited. This is gonna be such a fun one. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I'm in this really cute dress. I'll show you guys in a sec. I am about to head to the office today for work. So I'm gonna go uptown and then I'm gonna go back downtown after work to meet up with my friend Becca. And we are going to the Tribeca Film Festival, which I am so excited for. I've never been, I've never been to a film festival in general. I don't know if it's every year or if it's twice a year. Becca's full-time job is working in the corporate side. Um, of TV and movies, she does the social media for them. So I don't know if she wants me to say the exact company, but maybe she'll say later. Um, so we're gonna go see this movie. Hold on, let me see what it's called. Sorry, her and I have been texting a lot because I actually bought Jack Harlow tickets yesterday too, which I'm very excited for. I'm trying to go to like more shows and concerts and stuff. Um, so I have to scroll up. Okay, so it's called Jerry and Marge Go Large and it's starring Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad and then Rain Wilson from, sorry, I'm really bad at actors. I know like musicians a lot more, but Rain Wilson from The Office is going to be there tonight. She told me and like, I don't even know who else. Um, I guess whoever's friends with the cast. I'm very excited. And then tomorrow on Thursday, it's just gonna be like a normal day, kind of getting my life together. I'm working from home. So I wanna like keep working on the apartment. It takes me so long to put together like the shelves and hang paintings and all of that. So I just need to keep going with it. Um, and then Friday, I'm going to a Lumineers concert. So it's the Lumineers and Camp is opening, C-A-M-P. And I'm gonna link below the playlist of their set list. Um, so it's on Spotify and I've been listening to it all week just to like know all the songs cause I've always been a huge Lumineers fan. This is my second time seeing them. I've never seen Camp before and I'm kind of newer to them, but I love their music. And they have a song called 26 and I'm turning 26. So I'm gonna show you guys my dress. It's from Rent the Runway. The brand is Amanda Up Richard. I don't know. The bottom might be being cut off, so I'll show you in the mirror. Back to my one mirror that I have in the living room. Um, but it's like this, and then I'm just wearing Superga white sneakers. So I thought this was perfect to be like cute and a little dressy and fun, but also like, I think I can rest the office, it's fine. Just left my office for a little Starbucks break. I got a large green tea lemonade on Sweden's, and now I'm about to jump on some meetings. I didn't bring my camera today because I don't think I can bring it into the actual movie. You know, you're not allowed to like record movies. So I'm just a random plebeian. I can't be bringing a professional camera around. Um, so I'm vlogging my phone, which is fun. So I'm gonna go back to the office now. And I'll check back in after. I need to cover my screen, but in my little conference room, soundproof, which is cool. Okay, I just got downtown. That's the Brooklyn Bridge and the tour bus. <laughs> So that bridge you can actually walk. It's a fun thing to do, but I've never done it. That's just what I've heard. Okay, walking over to the Tribeca Performing Arts Center. Um, I think I'm at City Hall. I think that's what's around me in the background. Just walking through this park. And I'm keeping an eye out for food because I haven't eaten anything since I left my apartment this morning. Um, I had like a big yogurt bowl and then I got the Starbucks, but it's a really weird Starbucks near my office. There's not any food. You have to like order on the Starbucks app and then go and pick it up. You can't even like pay with a credit card in store. So, I did not end up getting any food. So now I need to look for something because Becca said she's not sure if there will be actual food at this thing or if just like popcorn maybe. And I think I'm a bit ahead of her, so it's okay. I have some time, um, but it's such a nice day out. So I'm doing a little solo dining moment at, I don't know how to say it, Le Pen with the I'll be cute, okay? And I just got a little soup. That's like perfect for just uh, something to hold me over. Cause I'll probably have a real dinner in like a few hours. It's only like five right now, so. Okay, my perfect little $6 snack. Hello. 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 Hey, we're in the front row. Becca. <laughs> Town that's not exactly in its prime. Though, to be honest, neither are Jerry and Mark. We have such comedic geniuses around us. Let them do that. Let them swirl around with their comedy hijinks. And, uh... That was so fun. If you ever get an opportunity to go to a film festival, definitely go. Not only was it kind of a premiere of sorts, 
but also the cast was all there. So Rain Wilson plays Dwight in The Office, um, which I think is what most people know him from. But as I was watching, it was so cool. I could see him. So it was like, he was kind of like the comedic relief in the movie. So every time he would crack a really funny joke, the audience would laugh and I would look at him and he would like be keeping straight face. Cause you know, he probably wanted to be modest and didn't want to be awkward or anything. So it's based on a true story. And the coolest part was that the people it was based on were actually there. It was a really heartwarming movie. And then seeing him there and they stood up was like, double the heartwarming so that's also why it was really cool um but it's about this guy who's just like a factory worker from michigan figures out a way to legally win the lottery i won't give it away but it's just like really cute because he kind of involves everyone in the town and then at the end they were like well the real jerry stand up so the guy who actually did this all and he was a really good guy in the movie so once he stood up he's like 80 or 90 years old now like everyone's clapping and it was just really cool. So I haven't had any time to chill and I still want tonight because I'm super behind on editing. So I'll probably do that tonight and then maybe watch like a little bit of TV and then I'll check back in tomorrow because I'm working from home. So I'll finally have like a free minute. Hi guys, it is the next day and I'm working from home today. I'm just gonna quickly do my little um, makeup routine that I do pretty much every day, even when I'm working from home. Um, my meetings are always on camera pretty much, so I like to be like semi-presentable. And I actually think today I'm gonna work from a coffee shop a little bit, so mixing it up. And then I think I'm gonna go on a walk later on in the day on West Side Highway. So that's kind of my plan. I wanna be out and about a little bit more because I feel like it's really hard sometimes working from home because then I don't leave the house the whole day. And like, I love working from home, don't get me wrong. It allows you to make all your own meals and make your own schedule. And you could go to a coffee shop or go for a walk or whatever you wanna do um, to take breaks and stuff. But sometimes when I do have a lot of work, I find myself in my apartment until 5 p.m. And then by the time it's five, I'm super anxious, super antsy. I need to get out of the house and I just hate that feeling. So I'm working on bringing my laptop somewhere and just working from there. I just want to show you guys what I've been using every day because they're so easy. So Clinique sunscreen, I love it because it's like a tinted moisturizer. So it covers my redness, if you can tell. Then I've been using this Estee Lauder concealer. It has like a hydrating primer on one side and then a concealer on the other. I already have eye cream on, so I just do the smallest amount of the primer. Um, and sometimes I skip that step. And then I just do the concealer pretty much under my eyes. It's really light coverage, but that's why I like it during the day. But yeah, I think I wanna talk more in an upcoming vlog about how I kinda need to do a reset. I think after these upcoming trips because I'm just feeling like so overwhelmed and I'm having so much fun, I'm so lucky. I'm not saying this is a problem at all. I'm just saying. Um, how to best reset after you've kind of been out of your routine for a while i need to just kind of figure that out because i just feel like i'm not as healthy as i usually am i don't have a workout routine all that sort of stuff work has been like super overwhelming and i hold all my tension in my right shoulder it's a new thing i've been doing that i absolutely hate over the last year or so so it's like i will go on a trip and then towards the end of it i literally feel like i'm like this on my way back from the airport getting back into real life and i'm like like I just am so stressed out and I think it's because it's hard for me to keep up with work and then like my interests, which is YouTube. So just trying to balance it all. I'm working on that. By the way, that was the Merit blush and I love it because it's super easy. And this is the Merit highlighter that I just put on top. It's super light. I can link it below. I love their products. And then I've been using the Merit mascara. I really like this mascara. This is obviously the one with it and this is the one without. So that is the little two minute makeup routine I've been doing. I encourage you guys to just get ready in the morning a little bit, whatever that means for you, because I feel a lot more confident when I put a little bit of effort into getting dressed for the day. And then I feel like it makes me more productive the whole day. It makes me want to go out and do things a little bit more because New York is just so run into people a bowl. And I sometimes it's like, I don't wanna go on a walk on the West Side Highway where I'm gonna run into everyone from my high school and college and all that. If I feel like I look absolutely horrible, which I've done before and it's just like hiding from people and stuff, at least for me, like I'll put a hat on and sunglasses. So I've been trying to just like get ready a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Let's go walk around. I'm gonna walk downtown, I think, more into like lower Soho and just find a coffee shop and see if there's somewhere that has Wi-Fi and room for me to sit with my laptop because ever since the work from home era, there is like no seating at these cafes anymore. I just made this cute little chia pudding breakfast, coconut chia pudding, and then added blueberries, strawberries, coconut flakes, and cacao nibs. This is my little breakfast that I'm gonna have at home before 
before I go. Okay, we're gonna try this place, Crown Sport Cafe. They have some outdoor seating too, but it is way too hot today, so I'm not gonna do that. I just got a chai with skim milk. Honestly though, it is so hot in here. There's no AC, so everyone's like sweating. And there's these communal tables, but like no one's even sitting here because it is so hot. Okay, a little West Side Highway moment. There's not a lot of people out right now at this hour. I mean, this is kind of crowded, but normally there's people in the park and on the benches. So I guess it's a good time to walk here. Also, this restaurant is called Drift In, and it's on the water. And I've wanted to go here forever. I just texted my friends and asked if we can go next week. Up a little beatnik salad previously known as by Chloe so I'm very excited to go eat that. It is Friday. I am so excited. I'm headed out to the Lumineers. I am in my little concert outfit. I feel like I am 17 going to a concert in high school in a good way. I didn't have time to do my hair because I was working today and then I did a workout class. And so anyways, I got ready very quickly and I also decided like it doesn't really matter. Like the Lumineers and camp are very chill. So I'll show you guys my little concert outfit. You know what mirror we're using. These are my Rent the Runway Levi shorts. This urban top that I got so long ago that I can find a similar one. Zara bag and then my Puma white sneakers. Okay, so I'm gonna go meet my friends on the F. So I have a little bit of a walk, but that was just the one that goes into Queens because that's where the concert is. It's Forest Hills Stadium, it's outside and also stopped in like everyone's neighborhood. So we're gonna start downtown, me, Nikki, Rachel, and Emily. And then we're gonna go uptown, pick up Christy who lives in Hell's Kitchen. And then it brings us across to Queens where we're gonna meet Carly who lives in Brooklyn. So, and there's gonna be a ton of food trucks there and it's, it's just gonna be such a vibe. I went a few years ago and I'm just excited because I wasn't with any of these people. So I know they're gonna like it too. And I can't bring my camera like the film festival. You can't bring like these big real cameras because they don't want you recording everything. So I'll be on my phone. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to the subway now. Bye. Okay guys, I'm at the subway, but it's very confusing because Nikki and Rachel got on um, at a different stop before me. So when they get here, they just have to like poke their head out the car door and scream and be like, we're in this one. I'm gonna try to like run to whatever car door they're in and find them. Okay, so they should be here any minute. Okay, there they are. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Hey. These are all the little food stations. We just got a panini and we are at the beer because the cocktail line is way too long. guys, it is the next day. So I am about to leave for London. My flight is in, I don't even want to tell you guys because I'm probably gonna stress you out. I need to work on leaving more time, but I also pack right before my flight. So I have to leave for the airport in less than an hour, but it's not as chaotic as you think because I actually have a method to my madness. I don't like to pack everything until right before because I don't want it to get all wrinkly and stuff. So I just make a notes app on my phone like the whole week of every detail of things I'll need and outfits and all that. So then when the time comes, I can just check everything off and I'm pretty much ready right now. While I have it all laid out on my bed, I want to show you guys what I'm bringing. Also definitely follow me on Instagram to see all the updates in real time because this vlog won't be up until like a little bit after I go just because I'm kind of like behind on editing. So follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll link that below. Okay, so here is what I'm bringing. So I have everything laid out. By the way, I peep my new bedding. I love it. It, um, but I'll talk about that another time. Um, so I'm bringing this white long sleeve collar shirt. I just thought this would be really nice. Brown trousers, but they're kind of trendy. They have like a cool top. I've showed them before. And then I'm gonna bring this plaid blazer because it's very London. This is Rent the Runway and I can link everything below, by the way, because I'm kind of crunched for time. So I'm gonna wear this to Sketch, which is kind of like a trendy dinner place. And then we're gonna go out after. And I thought with these black jean shorts, it could be cute with heels. Um, my shoes down here, they all could use, oh, this is eliminated. Um, they could all use a little bit of a cleaning, but I'll probably be wearing, oh, 
they're like so scuffed. Um, I'll probably be wearing these nude heels to every night. So just imagine it. I feel like with the jean shorts, it'll be dressy-ish. Then I'm going to a J. Cole concert, which I'm so excited for. So I just brought this tube top and I'm gonna wear like a lot of jewelry and like cool eyeshadow and stuff. Or I might wear this shirt. Um, you guys will see it all on in that vlog. Obviously cannot try everything on right now. Then I'm bringing white jeans, cause mine as well. And this really cute Love Shack fancy halter top that was also rented. And then for casual outfits, I have this new white set from Onya and then these a gold day um jean shorts from rent the runway and i never learned my lesson with these they always look bad on me and like fit me horribly but nonetheless she persisted so that's it oh and i also forgot to say i just have like some tank tops so i figure like worst comes to worst i can always wear like a tank top with these jean shorts and just that be my outfit for the day um and there's my toiletry bag and makeup bag inside there i love this big two-faced bag because i just throw like everything in there and here's my suitcase on the ground right now i have like underwear bathing suits pajamas um and then a little gift for sophia i'm gonna bring her an erin lip gloss and a lemair face wash. I'm gonna be there for like five full days, I think, six-ish. Yeah, I hope I can make this all work. And I'm staying with my friend Sophia, by the way, if I did not say that. So hopefully if there's anything I really need, I can borrow it from her. I don't really have too much to wear during the day, but I feel like I can wing it. Okay, yay, it's a perfect fit. Um, it's not like overflowing or anything, so I should be able to press that all down. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please like this video and subscribe. I've been having so much fun with these vlogs and I've been loving my new apartment and just like feeling like it's a great new chapter. So I'll see you guys all next week, which I guess will be in London. Bye.